Studio Lou. Today I have my walkthrough of the Land of Sugar and Spice journal um, to share with you. So I finished this journal up yesterday and it will be going up into my Etsy probably later on today. Um, or maybe it's already there actually. If this video is playing, it's already there. <laughs> so anyhow, this journal has been created inside um, a, a hardcover book and um, I've stabilized and recreated the spine a larger spine with um it's a two inch spine I believe with this lovely vintage fabric it's really bright and colorful the book itself is this lovely mustardy yellow um so the land of sugar and spice was a children's book that inspired me to make this journal not everything inside of it is from that singular book but um it is heavily used as part of the theme uh, the images in this book and the ephemera and some of the pages are from that book this cover has been made um from imagery from the book that's been all kind of marble inked and this is the title of the book itself the land of sugar and spice and you'll see it has this cute illustration of like basically a land of sugar and spice and baked goods and candy and all these really wonderful kind of creatures and like people who have like a lot of sugar and spice kind of themes about the look of them so um this book has nine signatures in it it is a large book it has a lot of stuff in it but it's not like overstuffed it's um it's it's actually very comfortable to use and to to hold in in this in the way that you would write it in inside of it. Um, it is tied with a vintage seam binding that is pink. And when you open it on up, I have used pages from the book as the end papers. So this is the kind of imagery that you'll see throughout this book, these lovely, um, you know, candy being made and, and that sort of thing. And I've embedded these underneath the end paper and then added some nice lace here. And you'll see that vintage, um, that vintage fabric at the back as well. So let's jump into the first signature. This is some nice shiny um, kind of textured pink paper with this little um, kind of custard at the bottom. All of the first pages of every signature have some nice ribbon on the front or like stitched on the side I should say. And then we have an avocado dyed doily because I thought doilies would be nice in here because you think of like having a tea party or something you would have doilies. And then we have a little pocket that's been created from book page, some nice fabric, and this little image of um, fruit on waffles. And that's on a jelly print um, that I made. And inside we have this little booklet that's just this kind of ochre gold textured paper. And on the back is, from the book, um, this big sort of gingerbread candy house. So that's like a booklet to write in. And that just tucks in there avocado dyed paper and this is Hansel and Gretel and this is the sugar house from Hansel and Gretel this is avocado dyed paper cabbage dyed paper um, and a little pear here and then on this side we have more of that shiny pink paper and this is a pocket and inside we have a journal card, um, Sugar and Spice Scratch and Sniff Sweet Shop Playset. So this is actually from uh, an image from packaging of this actual vintage playset, which I have. Um, and I thought it would be fun to include in here. And then we have this little um, sort of creme, um, not creme brulee, but like um, flan. He's a flan. He's a little flan on this nice like sort of candy colored drippy paper. And then some children's writing composition paper. Lots of writing space in here. This is from a book page. It's this lovely image of these children being served um, like cookies and some fairies here or cutting bread for them. So lots of lovely little children. It's from a Robert Louis Stevenson book. And then we have um, an, like a big pocket that's made from like book page paper and it has this lovely big cake on the front. And inside we have this fun image um, from a book on potato fudge. This is from a recipe book from the 50s and it's a journaling card and so that just tucks there. More avocado dyed paper and then we have just some nice sort of chocolate brown paper with this cake on top and Hansel and Gretel running off to that sugar house. 
And that's Gretel talking to the witch in the sugar house. Avocado paper. And uh, this little um, pastry down here. And more jelly print and doily. And that's the end of the first signature. And then moving on to the second signature on this red paper, we have some nice vintage uh, lace down the side. And here we have an envelope with some little, little tarots from book pages um, of these little sort of, these are two little donut guys and a little sugar shaker and a teapot and they're all running away. Um, and then inside we have a couple of things. These are just little journal cards to write on. Um, slide them out here. Little French um, journaling cards, Le Patisserie and Le Gâteau. And they go right on inside there. And then this is avocado dyed paper. This is a page from a Richard Scary book um, of all these little animals at a party um, blowing out the candles on a cake with some balloons here. And the other side of the page. And this is a fabric pocket with these apples on this yellow background. And inside is this, um, it's a little flip up, little writing space. Um, we have like a lollipop inside and on the front is one of these sugar guys and he's got a cupcake hat, I collaged, and this little stamp of um, pastries, donuts. This is cabbage dyed paper with like lines going down it. And then this is a book page from the Land of Sugar and Spice. This is one of my digitals. It's my jelly printing, nice bright colors. And then this is some, um, an image of some little kids and a doll um, looking inside a sweet shop window. And over here we have the poem that goes with it, um, The Sweetie Shop by Jesse Pope. And over here we have a pocket that has this journal card inside um, of these pink pastries and pies and ice cream. And that just tucks on in there. And on this side, we have more of those kids looking in the sweet shop window. And we have another journal card of some more really colorful goodies. And then here we have another jelly print. And then this um, purple fabric, sort of fabric flip, so you can write under here. And then just pull this lace down and there's this little blueberry um, pastry there. And this is more of the land of sugar and spice. We have a plate of pastries. And then we have a pocket made from this. Um, this is like a page of all sorts of different desserts. And then a tag inside made from the land of sugar and spice book. And it has this lovely uh, sequined green fabric on top. More composition paper and more of the Richard Scary paper. Avocado dyed paper, and then this is just an over the page kind of journal card. So it's on that lovely pink paper and it's got one of those tea cards on the front and you just flip it open and it just goes right over on top of this page. And now we're on to the third signature with this little like very cute um, children's coloring book image. And on this side, I've sewn some lace, and this is actually a whole fold out for more journaling space. I'll just move the book over so you can see the extension there. That's another whole page of journaling space. And then this is cabbage dyed paper with like a doily print that you can really see on this side. Just bring it up close. So that's from some paper dyeing that I did with cabbage um, and uh, doily. This is from the Land of Sugar and Spice. And then we have a jelly print pocket here. And we have some little sugar and spice people back here. And then a tag made from the book page. And then just this chocolate brown paper that made me think of a big chocolate bar. And then this is coffee dyed aged paper that I made. And it has a really nice texture to it. Um, and then this is one of my digital jelly prints composition paper and then we have the gingerbread boy running away from kids and in here we have um, marshmallow fun so it talks about 
how to like build little sculptures with marshmallows and um, doing like juggling with marshmallows. We have a little pastry up here. And on this side, we have another little pastry and more kids kind of running. They're running after the gingerbread boy. And this is um, coffee dyed children's composition paper and a jelly print, more coffee dyed paper, more of that chocolate brown paper and another jelly print pocket. And in here we have this tag um, that has this donut and ice cream and these little pastry stamps and some play money and rick rack. It's uh, just a lot of fun. Now on this side we have a triangular pocket with all these little pastries. And it's on top of the Sugar and Spice book page. And this is a journal card. This little family that lives in a pair. And this is more of the cabbage dyed um, lace paper. And now on to the fourth signature. We have this nice plaid paper. It sort of reminded me of like candy boxes, candy packaging. More cabbage dyed paper and jelly print and coffee dyed paper. And then another page from the Land of Sugar and Spice. And then some pastries here and a bit of collaging and um, cabbage dyed paper, composition paper, more of the Land of Sugar and Spice. And then this um, page is like a double kind of like a fold out. So this is from a book page and it says, is there anything sweeter than this? And it's this fun fold out I've stitched on here. And this is collaged paper, um, coffee dyed, and cabbage dyed and all sorts of papers and this little fairy with this big lollipop and um, more of the land of sugar and spice more composition paper more cabbage dyed paper and more of the land of sugar and spice with some collaging and more coffee dyed paper jelly print and cabbage dyed lace and on to the next signature. These just remind me of candy colors and candy boxes. Jelly print, and we have this little strawberry shortcake down here. And then here we have a belly band with this chocolate mousse cake, and it is on top of some nice paper from the Land of Sugar and Spice. And then this is um, a tag made with like, you'll see, this is like from a candy house image journaling tag and more of the land of sugar and spice and over here we have a fabric pocket and there's a gingerbread man running with some little donut guys and more of these little donut guys are on this journal card that goes right on inside this fabric pocket and more of the land of sugar and spice composition paper jelly print digital those are in my shop if you'd like them um, this is a pocket with a little pink ribbon here and this is um, like all sorts of candies on paper and we have a tag made from the Land of Sugar and Spice. And then here we have a recipe for a different ice creams, banana split and hot fudge sundae. And then we have another of the images from that Sugar and Spice scratch and sniff playset. And that's a journal card. And on this side, another pocket with this little baby eating a big piece of candy. And inside is this large um, journal card with all sorts of desserts on it. And that just pops right on in there. And another jelly print, composition paper. And another page from the Land of Sugar and Spice. And then a big fabric pocket in this blue fabric. We got little donut people running here. And tucked up inside here is this little kind of booklet. It's um, got pastries on it and inside it's just a little booklet to write in. It just tucks right up there. And cabbage side paper. More of the book page from Land of Sugar and Spice. This side we have a belly band with a chocolate cupcake and a tag inside. Uh, this has been collaged with um, this chocolate chip cookie card um, and this uh, is a Land of Sugar and Spice book page image. I tried to use as much of the book in here as I could because it was so fun. 
and jelly printing with this cherry pie on top and some cabbage dyed paper. And the end of the signature, I've used the same paper from here over here to make this over the top flip um, so that whole thing comes off and we have this nice, um, what are those called, like a jelly roll loaf with fruit. And this is coffee dyed lace paper. This is my digital jelly print. And then we have a page from a vintage um, cookbook that has gingerbread men, peppernuts, Joe Froggers, almond strawberry towers, vanilla tea rounds, Swedish ginger snaps, tiny donut cookies, all sorts of fun stuff there. Nice vintage like images. And this is a jelly print and cabbage dyed paper composition paper and then we have a belly band here and inside is this large tag from the land of sugar and spice it's this this gentleman and this lady are some of the main characters they're dancing with all these desserts and he has a pretzel in his hair it's pretty fun and that just tucks in there and then we have a double spread from the book page and then over here we have another belly band and there's this large tall journal card made from a Richard Scary page of more of those animals blowing out the candles on a birthday cake with all these balloons. And that just slides right up in there. Some more writing space, some more jelly prints. And another page from the um, the ginger, or sorry, the uh, vintage um, baking book, Norwegian cones, candies, and confections, fondant. And then um, this is a jelly print that has a fabric um, stitched belly band across it. And this really fun big journal card of these desserts kind of running away. They're running away from the gingerbread boy actually. And then this is coffee dyed lace paper. And this is a pocket made from the land of sugar and spice. And inside is candy house uh, image on a journal tag. And then on to the next signature. Again, more of those fun papers. Jelly printing. And this is um, a poem by Leroy F. Jackson called Polly Pickle Nose. And some more dyed lace paper and a lace doily. Yellow paper. And another page from the Land of Sugar and Spice. More cabbage dyed paper, lace, and children's composition paper. Another book page. And another double spread from the book. And then here we have a little glassine bag with this um, little pastry on it. And inside we have just a piece of play money that you could journal on. And some cabbage dyed lace paper. More of the book page with some collage on top. And this is a poem called The Sweet Tooth with some jelly printing used in collage. And then some jelly printing with some pastries on a plate. And then a pocket from the book page. Um, and then this large journal tag, which I love so much. This is the reason I love this book so much is the image is so, the, the images are so fun. Like she's like dropping a cherry pie and she's got cherries in her hair and she's shouting like, <laughs> the book is just this fun like calamity. The story itself wasn't so great, but the images are wonderful, which is why I used it for this reason. And then we have some more lace down the side of this page. And over here, this is actually um, an embellished paper clip of a stack of pancakes with fruit. And this is a journal card of like a pink cake with cherries on top. And then we have some Easter egg dyed in pink um, lined paper. And then another page from the Land of Sugar and Spice. Just scooping some cherries out into that cherry pie. 
And then this is um, a fun textural painty page. Um, and then this gold um, lace cloth and cabbage dyed paper and some collaging on a book page with this little cake. And some map collaged onto this um, book page with sweets. Children's composition paper, some nice violet paper. And then a pocket on a jelly print page with this nice journal card inside with all sorts of pink cookies and cake and tea. And then this is a little sort of double page that I had fun with, um, with Old Mother Hubbard and Jack a Dandy and both have like kind of candy or food themes to them and it's from a vintage book. And then we have um, an embellished paper clip up top with this journal card. This is a cookie and these little um, pastries like chocolate covered cherries jumping into a book. And then another violet page and more composition paper. And more map on this uh, sweets page. More sweets, more cabbage dye paper. Um, more of that gold doily and then some jelly print collaging and the gingerbread man here. And then a page from the Land of Sugar and Sweets, or Spice rather. Okay, and now we're to the last signature. This nice orange kind of reminds me of saltwater taffy colored paper and some blue ribbon. Cabbage dyed paper. This is from the Land of Sugar and Spice. And then just a bit of collaging up here and some baby blue paper and then some cabbage dyed paper and collage on a book page with this cake. And then this is from a book page. What are little girls made of? Sugar and spice and all things nice. And then another little glassine bag with some play money inside that you can write on. This is Easter egg dyed, this is cabbage dyed, or sorry, no, not cabbage dyed. Um, this is shibori dyed um, uh, with, with cabbage and coffee. So it's been folded to get those fun patterns. And then this is another page from the book and a double spread with a bit of jelly print collaging up top and all these little donuts and chocolate covered cherries and cupcakes and this little boy with a bunch of spilled candy here. And then um, just a bit of collaging and a little stamp with a cupcake. More of that dyed paper. And a little chocolate tea card. And what are little boys made of? Snips and snails and puppy dogs tails. And then we have, um, this is from a book page. Again, a little sugar house and a fairy here. And then a couple of these inside, Le Macron. And... Um, Cafe Chocolat, um, just little like papers for writing on, like little tea card style papers for writing on. And then a baby blue page. And then um, this is an altered paper clip with these brownies with a raspberry. And um, it just holds on to this journaling card, which is um, from the book itself. And this is a book page underneath that's been collaged on. And a little um, lime, like key lime mackerel, and some little dancing people from the book. More cabbage dyed paper. And we've made it to the end with the jelly roll and the end of the book page. So that is The Land of Sugar and Spice. Um, thank you so much for joining me for this uh, flip through. This journal will head to my shop hopefully later today if it's not already there. It might already be there. I don't know what order I plan to um, do my Etsy shop or my video upload today. <laughs> We'll see how the day goes. But again, thank you so much for joining me. All my social media information, including my link to my Etsy shop, are all down below. I'm Studio Lou everywhere. My name is Cindy, and it's been so nice to be here with you today. So have a wonderful day. Bye for now.